Are you considering a move to Danville, Virginia or the surrounding area and you are completely overwhelmed by the process? Do not make a move until you watch this video first. I'll walk you through everything you need to know to make your relocation seamless and stress-free. And make sure you stay tuned to the end to make sure you learn why Danville is such a great place to call home and why you need an expert like myself on your team to ensure a smooth transition for you and your family. My name is David Totten, your local lifestyle expert. And I happen to be a real estate agent with EXP Realty right here in Virginia and North Carolina. My team and I, we get calls and texts every day from people just like you looking to make a move to this area and we absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in six weeks or 60 days, give us a call or shoot us a text and be sure to schedule a Zoom meeting with us. That link is in the description below so we can help you make a smooth move to the area. If this is your first time to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you're the first to learn everything there is to know about living, working, eating, and playing right here in Danville, Virginia. So as we said earlier, this video is gonna walk you through the entire process of relocating to this area. And first things first, there are some new rules that we have to play by in order for you to purchase a home. There is a National Association of Realtor Settlement uh, that takes effect August the 17th of 2024. And I want to lay out, but not to bore you, on the new rules that are in effect. The first one is mandatory buyer's agreements. Real estate agents are now required to establish formal agreements with buyers from initial communication. This includes anything from arranging showings or any other specific services that you require as a buyer from your agent when purchasing a brand new house. The new agreements must clearly outline any services you receive as a buyer from your buyer's agent and any compensation due to the buyer's agent for working for you on your behalf. Those fees can be collected as a flat fee. They can be a certain percentage of the purchase price or they can be an hourly rate, but nothing can be open ended. Everything must be spelled out so these new laws don't get us in trouble or get you in trouble as a buyer. So one of the main things that came from this settlement is actually compensation. Um, laws are in place now that decouples compensation, which were there before, but now they have to actually be spelled out. So a buyer agent's compensation is no longer a part of the listing firm's compensation. So a listing agent before would negotiate a, f a fee or a dollar amount with a seller of the house. And part of that fee would go be paid to a buyer agent's firm or a buyer broker. So what's happening now is they're trying to make it more transparent and uh, how buyer agents are paid and compensated for the services that they offer to you as a buyer. Now, the good about this is, is that agents now have to actually pull our weight and do our work. And we have to show you how hard we do work for the compensation that we're given. But again, this compensation has to be separate from the listing agreement. So just like your, your closing cost fees or other fees that, that are worked out between yourself as a buyer and Mr. John and Miss Sue as a seller, your buyer agent's compensation now has to be negotiated also. So no longer is it an upfront pre-negotiated fee, but it's something that you and your agent, myself, has to work out. So that's all going to depend on how well are you being served? How well are your needs being met? How well are you taken care of? So that is what's happening. So again, these updates aim to enhance transparency and fairness in all real estate transactions after August 17th. So what does this mean for you as a buyer with these new rules in place? Your buyer agent's compensation is no longer linked to the listing agreement. Instead, the buyer's agent and their client, you the buyer, must negotiate the compensation separately and directly. This change is designed to make the process more transparent for buyers. This will allow you as a buyer to be more involved about how your buyer's agent is paid 
and what that fee looks like based off of the level of service that you expect. This fee can be a flat amount, it can be a amount or percentage of the purchase price, or it can be an hourly rate, but it has to be negotiated. And again, the level of service you expect determines the compensation for your buyer's agent. So the main question is, who pays the buyer's agent now? Well, I'm glad you asked. What has changed is that you as a buyer may have to pay your buyer's agent directly now since it's no longer a part of the listing agreement. Or you have an option to where you can negotiate in the buyer agent's fee into the transaction. This gives buyers more control, but also requires you to consider the amount of cost that goes into purchasing a home now and what that budgeting looks like in your purchase price. Now that you have a better understanding of the new rules in play and the new rules that we have to play by, now we can actually get into some of the fun stuff. So the first part is the actual home search. Like, what are your wants and needs? What does your ideal home look like? How soon are you looking to make a move to the area? Do you have a home that you need to sell where you are currently? Do you need a loan or will you be paying cash for your new house? And again, once we established our first contact and communication, there is a mandatory buyer agreement that you and I have to sign, which outlines my services that I offer to you and what that compensation will look like just in case you as a buyer have to pay that now if a seller does not offer compensation to a buyer's agent. After the mandatory buyer's agreement is signed, that enters you into my relocation buyer's club. So you get several perks when you, when you sign this document. Now it can be signed remotely, of course, and electronically through DocuSign, but that just solidifies the fact that you have hired me, David Totten, as your agent. And then the fun begins. And this takes the weight off of your shoulders because buying a house is stressful enough. So it puts the weight on me, which I don't mind because I actually love it. I wake up breathing real estate. I go to bed dreaming about real estate. So real estate is what I do all day, every day. After I have a good understanding of what those needs, wants, desires, and wishes are, this is where interesting things start to happen because after we get that, that criteria and after we find a list of homes that match your criteria, that's when we can start shopping. So what'll happen is there are two ways for you, uh, especially if you're remote and at a significant distance away from Danville to view houses. Number one is we can do live tours through Zoom or Google Meet. So we'll set up a day and a time with the listing agent and say, hey, um, XYZ agent, I have a client, you know, in Georgia or Florida or California or Texas, and they're interested in your house that you put on the market. So can we look at the house on Tuesday at 4 p.m.? Yes. Okay, great. I'll send you a text or give you a call and say, hey, we got a time at four o'clock on Tuesday to look at the house. Does that work for you? If yes, then I'll send you a link from Google Meet or Zoom at that time. And then you'll be on the phone with me walking through the house just like I do. So, but the only difference is that you'll be looking through my camera, but I'll be giving step-by-step -step instructions, what I smell, what I see, what I hear. I'll do a drive down the road if that's necessary, just so you have a good idea of what's going on with and in that particular home. Now, the second option is on-demand video. So. I'll set up a time to go to the house. I'll do a video tour of the house, I'm still giving, you know, calling out what I see here, smell, uh, the feel of the home, what the neighbors uh, are doing, what their property looks like. And then I record that video. I'll upload it to uh, YouTube to a private play playlist just for you. Uh, so you and any other decision makers or family members have access to view that video and you can watch it as many times as you want. And then if you find, if we happen to find a house that piques your interest and it's just, oh my God, David, we gotta see this one. Or we gotta have it after you watch the videos. Then that's where we, we sit down and have a conversation about, okay, 
How much do you want to pay for the house? What terms? Um, when can you close? If you do have a house to sell where you are living now, we'll have to coordinate with your agent there and with that title company or attorney there. So when you close on that house, we can close on this house because again, I want this to be seamless and as stress-free as possible for you. And of course, secure the house and put it under contract so it's taken off the market. Then we step into the home visit. So after we go into contract, I like to build in a 10 to 15 day inspection period or window for you because that'll give you a chance to come to Danville or whatever town or city we're in and actually step inside the home and see, does it give you that welcome home? This is my house, uh, the warm and fuzzy home sweet home feeling. Also, you and your family get a, can't, get a chance to walk through the house physically. You get to see how big the bedrooms are and the finishes in the kitchen and does the bathroom space, is it adequate enough for you? You know, is the shower too small? Uh, you may be six, 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 seven, six, eight in a shower that's meant for me. I'm only five, six. Uh, is the yard big enough? Is it fenced in? Do you have pets? Do you have dogs, cats? Uh, is, the drive, is the driveway space adequate? Um, just wanna know, is this house right for you? Because I don't want you to have a bad experience buying a home uh, with me and have a sour taste in your mouth. But that gives us a chance to see if is this the right one. And if so, of course, we'll make sure our inspections get scheduled. Uh, hopefully we can do it while you're in town, uh, just so you can talk to the inspector close toward the end of the inspection. So you know what it is that you're walking into. And then that evening, we'll go to dinner and um, just celebrate the fact that we have a house on the contract. So speaking of inspections, um, there's another step where there's an earnest money deposit due here in the state of Virginia. Uh, we don't do due diligence as some other states do, but that earnest money deposit must be paid by uh, cashier's check, money order, to the title company or uh, attorney that is gonna handle settlement for this particular transaction. Again, we need to schedule inspections, um, which will be your, of course, a home inspection. So, you know, a home inspector, they do uh, roof to foundation. Now, they don't inspect foundations because they're not foundation experts, but they do give a good look to let you know uh, what shape that the house is in. Also, uh, I would highly recommend, if needed, a HVAC inspection, which is heating, ventilation, and AC. Uh, if applicable, we would do a septic inspection just to make sure that the, uh, the system works fine and that the uh, septic tank isn't full. And also a well, if there's a well on the property. We need to make sure that the water is free from any kind of bacteria. Also, this tells us, if any, what repairs are needed or required, and gives us a chance to talk about any items that you see that you would want remedied before closing on the property that the seller would have to do. So just to reiterate, that 10 to 15 day window is what we have to get all these inspections done, and it gives you an out or clause to walk away from this house just in case the repairs are just too much to deal with if the home is being sold as is, or if there is no way for us to negotiate with the seller on getting those repairs done, that is suitable for you and your terms. Throughout this buying process, there are several other moving pieces uh, while the inspections are going on. So you have your, if you're getting a loan, I would definitely have you have connected you to my lending partner, uh, Mrs. Tyleek Mason from Alcova Mortgage uh, to get the loan process going because now it takes about 30 to 45 days. Also, put you in touch with the title company or attorney who'll be doing title search to make sure that home ownership passes from current owner to you as the new buyer and there are no issues and title can be passed clear into your name. You also have your moving schedule to think about because if you have another house to sell, we have to make sure that we are in touch with your agent and that title company or attorney 
and making sure that the dates are aligning because if you have to move from where you are that takes cost you got to get moving trucks you got to get moving boxes you got to get your items here uh if school is in session we got to get new school set up we have to get utilities set up which we'll talk about later and also communication with all parties involved and you're going to need a professional as like myself to make sure that all parties are up to speed on the process and what's going on to make sure that the stress is off of you what you have me for to take that on they say there's a calm before the storm but there's also a calm after the storm you know we got all these things going on at one time you got the home buying you got the home selling if that applies to you we got inspections we got loans we got title work we got moving we got communication all these things going on but once we've worked through the madness and depending on the type of purchase you'll get a clear to close from talik after um everything has has taken place and you know or if you're paying cash then we'll get a ready to close from the title company or attorney to let us know that title work has come back there are no issues and if there were issues we have those issues figured out and addressed and remedied so that's the call closing can be done remotely or closing can be done in person now if you're going to close where you are now uh, the title company or attorney will send out a mobile notary to meet with you uh, especially if you're getting a loan because those documents have to be wet signed and sent back to the title company or attorney's office um, just to make sure that everything's done decently and in order now we also have to coordinate with your agent again and your other title company to make sure that the funds if you choose the funds from the sale of your current house are transferred to the from the title company or attorney where you are to the title company or attorney here where you'll be moving to if you choose to do so there are documents you got to sign and permissions have to be granted to do that if not and you are going to take those proceeds and put them in your account then we have to make sure that those funds get transferred to the title company here in time to close which is usually a day or two before settlement date here now as an opinion and it's only my opinion the best thing to do is to have the title company or attorney where you are moving from transfer those funds to the title company or attorney here and the title company or attorney here will just cut you a check for the difference when you get into town or they can wire the funds to you or cut you a check so totally totally up to you on how you want to do it but i've just seen it in my experience that it's easier and more seamless and stress-free just to have those funds transferred here to the title company or attorney and have them handle that for you now an additional perk you get when we're we're at the end of this video we're about to wrap up is a document from me which outlines on how to connect your utilities here at your new home how to connect the internet here other essentials that you'll need when in town and you also get a friendly nice little guidebook on things to do in the area um when you arrive in town you know of course we'll meet so you can get your keys and plenty of hugs uh, i like to do video and photos with uh, my clients when they close just so we have a memory together and again plenty of hugs at the end uh, my team and I will also stay in touch after closing because the transaction doesn't stop there. You have me for life. So I like to stay in touch to see if there are any issues that you have with your new house and who do we contact to get those issues resolved. Or I just like to stay in touch and see how you're doing, especially if you have kids, because I love children. Uh, I have two of my own. You may meet them uh, if you come into town and they'll be with me on the showing or an inspection, depending on what, what time of day it is. But they love my clients and I promise you, you'll love my kids. And if you have kids, 
your kids and my kids will probably become the best of friends and run around the house making all kinds of noise or outside. It's a fun time, but we just like to make our clients family. So if you found this video to be helpful and you want to be a part of our Relocation Buyers Club and you think Danville is this great place because there's so much going on here. You know, of course, you, the casino, the waterfront park, but Danville is so much more than that. This community is so awesome because of the people here. Uh, we have several parks. We have bike trails. We have hiking trails. We got fishing spots. We're close to just about anything you can name. You know, the beach is four to four and a half hours east. The mountains, a couple hours to the west. Uh, DC is, might be four and a half hours north. Uh, you have Charlotte, two hours south. Atlanta, about six hours south. 10 hour drive to Florida. So anywhere you need to go, we have it. Several amenities, grocery shopping. We got clothes shopping. We got NASCAR here over in Martinsville. We have the Virginia International Raceway. Uh, which is here in town too. So it's so much to do. And we have usually four seasons. You know, we hadn't had snow, a big dump in a while, uh, but we usually have winter, summer, spring, and fall. Uh, there's plenty of water uh, activities to do here, several things to do with the kids. So come on, visit me. Uh, we'd love to have you. We'd love to help you make Danville your next home. And remember, Give me a call or a text and schedule that Zoom meeting so we can help you make a smooth move to the area. Until we see you in the next video, take care. God bless. See you around. Bye-bye.